Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Future Meeting, the first cultured meat conference in Israel. The Modern Agriculture Foundation is an Israeli non-profit organization that was established by animal rights activists who had a very pure and passionate mission in their heart to advance the research, the development, and the commercialization of cultured meat as a viable and sustainable and global feeding solution. I think it's really, really important that the scientific basis of this whole endeavor is brought. As you all know, the 21st century brings us a lot of challenges. We are running out of land, we are running out of water, and we have to do something. It's the estimation of the World Health Organization that in 2050, global consumption of meat is going to increase by 70%. There's need for new sources of food, new sources of protein. What we do in the lab for many years now is trying to make complex tissue structures. We take early stage technological startup development stage and we nurture them until they grow. But you want to make it as normal as possible, as sort of the standard where everybody says, oh yeah, that's what I understand meat to be. People are just not familiar with what they're eating, they certainly are not familiar with science and they are a bit technologically phobic. If we bring cultured meat to consumers in the way we used to bring products, we're going to fail. You're sort of out of the gate saying, this food you've never heard of, we're going to call it lab meat or in vitro meat. Would you eat it? As time will go on, we'll have to see that what's currently happening in the industry is also very problematic and so many senses. 8% of Israelis declare themselves as vegetarian, 5% declare themselves as vegan. This means that 13% of Israelis don't eat meat. It's about 1 million people. When you have two products, and one of them is factory farmed and slaughterhoused, and the other one comes from what looks like a meat brewery, I don't think we're going to have trouble convincing people that they should go with the cleaner, more sustainable, kinder product. If you just have a product labeled meat and then, you know, just like an asterisk uh, saying uh, this product is better for the environment or it's better for animal welfare, I think that's compelling enough. It's our endeavor to create this happy image in 2050 where we can still uh, barbecue hamburgers uh, without the concern for the environment, the concern for animals. Innovation, collaboration and public awareness is what makes Israel well positioned to advance culture needs. So I'm optimistic about it and I hope that you are too.